George the Tech. Hi, it's George the Tech at NAMM Show in Anaheim, California. It's day three, the final day. We're all getting a little tired, but it's worth it. It's worth hanging in there because we have the best demo. We're going to have the whole show of the Pocket Piano. And here to actually do the demo is Jordan Rudess from Dream Theater. Holy cow. Yes, I've woken up for this. Yeah, we're here. We're going to do this. It's day three. We are definitely tired. The voice is going. Luckily, it's not a vocal gig. It's a piano gig, and the pocket piano is really cool. And this guy over here is the inventor of it, Joseph Bergada. And Bergada. Uh, yeah, and we're happy to be here. Yeah. I'm just, I, this the funnest thing about doing this is discovering things together and then, just, and then sharing with everybody. And this is just, I love innovation like this. Explain how this came to be, and was it a difficult development process to get to where we are now? Yeah, everything has been so difficult, uh, but we made it, so yeah, that's it. How long did it take from concept to what we see right here? How much time? Exactly five, five years and three months. Five years, three months, and seven three days. Hours and 22 seconds, according to my calculation. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly. No, it's, it's a remarkable product. Give, give us an idea, I mean, uh, what's going on here? Nobody has seen what it actually does. What's the magic trick behind this, this product? Well, you know, the amazing thing about the pocket piano is the concept of this is that we want to make something that every keyboardist, every pianist, every songwriter will want to take with them in this very cool little like backpack bag and have up to an 80, a 87 note piano. And what's cool is like on this table, we actually have a shortened version of it. So you can play three notes, you can play a couple of octaves, whatever you want. It's really an, you know, an incredible system. I love that. It, you know, not only is it breakable, break, breakdownable and portable, but expandable and contractible. Exactly. I mean, that's the whole thing. And it's very light. And in front of us, we have the wooden version, which is a little more like elegant. It's a little bit heavier. But the whole concept is, hey, we're giving you this amazing tool. It's a MIDI Bluetooth keyboard. It has a beautiful piano sound. And it actually, the piano sound that I've been using with Dream Theater for the last year. So it's like my favorite sound of the digital, piano sound of the digital world. When I spoke to Joseph, who invented this amazing thing, I was like, this is fantastic, but let's make sure it has a really, really beautiful piano sound. So that's what we're showing at the NAMM show. It's probably better to have one really nice sounding piano than a hundred samples of fake instruments, right? Well, you yeah, I mean, the, the focus of this is definitely the piano. Uh, we also have some other sounds. The, the feature is the piano. It's really all about you know, taking this out of your little backpack, setting it up, and saying, oh my God, this is a beautiful piano sound. How does it feel to play it? It's awesome. It responds really, really well. Like when I'm, you know, I'm always testing, you know, the keyboard in development, you know. Like making sure it responds to every note that I play. So, and that's incredibly important. Uh, what's really nice is in a portable unit like this, we have real size keys. It's a comfortable action. can really play this piano. You can really play it. And what's very cool about something like this, of course, is digital, so you can be like doing things like this. <laughs> I'm looking at the buttons and going, oh, what's the big deal? Then I look at your hand and it's not moving. Oh yeah, so <laughs> you, no, you can amazing. shift octaves up I and down. Play. And that's why if you have, you know, three notes, or you have a few octaves, you can really get around the range of the instrument. So it's something that's very flexible, it's Bluetooth, connects it, you can use the internal sounds, you can use it with your iOS device or your Android device if you've got a program there with sounds that you like. So you know the idea is flexibility and portability and we're just rocking on this man's uh, original idea of the, of the fact that this can be you know taken apart. So like I can play a little bit and as yeah, I this, do. This is the magic, this is what I wanted to see. So we can do something like this.
That's anyway, brilliant. we're left with the one piece. We put it all on the case, and here's all our parts of the piano. And if we want to get it back together again, we snap it together, and it's uh, it's music uh, music magic. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, you guys, I, I've developed some very simple things. It takes years to do a simple thing. Five years to bring this to reality is incredible. Is this available? Can, is this vaporware, or can we go buy this thing? We are on production now, and it's going to be able by the end of this year. So. Fantastic. Congratulations. I'm blown away, and it's really great to meet you, too. It's nice to meet you as well. Thanks for having us here. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Introducing Portable Dream Theater.